Came all the way from New York. She's been on Drunk History. She opens for Chappelle. Big helium round of applause for Ashley Barnhill, please. Let's hear for Ashley. It's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah. We just want to balance 
pH, that's it. <laughs> it's a very delicate ecosystem that no one knows how it works, you know? <laughs> I, I get really bad UTI sometimes when my doctor prescribed me a medical grade soap. Like, that's the shit they use to clean pelicans off in oil spills. Like, yeah, I just want a balanced pH. <laughs> Y'all have this pill. Y'all can give women a fill your ultimate desire. You know, if I could just like roofie a guy into texting me back fast. <laughs> like if I could slip him something and an hour later he's like, mm, girl, like I want to pay your rent. Like that's a lot of power. <laughs> I'd be roofing dudes all the time. <laughs> They'd just be waking up like, fuck, I slept over. <laughs> That's really how we do it after sex, so you just go to sleep and we can go through your phone. <laughs> Time's up, you deserve it. <laughs> Fucking Cosby. Well, he, he drugged 60 plus women. You know, didn't kill a single one. Like, is that not kind of crazy? Like, should we just start calling Rufy's Huxtables? Like, just, it's taken me years and years, and I still don't know the right amount of edible to take for myself. Fucking <laughs> 60 plus, like, that's, that's a lot of people, you know? Like, I, I didn't really think I'd slept with that many dudes till recently I read an article that said, on average, women have four sexual partners over their entire lifetime. Yeah, I was like, um, four? Like, I think you left a zero off of that. <laughs> Marty, is that a lot? High school is hard. I don't know. Put a lot of numbers on high school. I just wanted to be popular, you know? Like I was with the guys, not so much the girls. Like I got beat up a lot. Like I'd always come home with a black guy. And my parents were just like, "Oh my god, you got a boyfriend!" <laughs> nope, just slept with someone else's. Whoops. <laughs> like Becky with the slightly dry hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just recently graduated law school. Now I do this because I don't know how to use my white privilege rights. <laughs> Drowning in debt, which sucks, being broke. It's, uh, it's not easy living boyfriend's paycheck to boyfriend's paycheck. <laughs> it's a weird time to have a law degree too, especially with like Trump in office having no credentials whatsoever. You know, it's like I'm literally more qualified to be president than our president. <laughs> Vegas one time, and some guy yelled out, fuck no, bitch. I was like, wow, geez, sir, just uh, wait for the punchline, you know? It's like, obviously, I can never be president. You know, I'm a woman. We can barely be Ghostbusters. <laughs> expensive car and we're like, well that guy has a small dick. <laughs> we see a guy in a Prius and we're like, well that guy has a small dick. <laughs> see a guy driving his girlfriend's car, we're like, well that guy's broke, but probably has a big dick. <laughs> Like we 
make actual drinkable milk. Like that's witchery type shit. Like guys, I don't know, you can sometimes just like shoot a load over your head. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Lately I started doing this thing where if I do see a guy in like a really nice car, I'll walk up to his window and knock on it and just be like, are you my Uber? Just to bring him down. <laughs> pretend like I didn't, just to let him know he ain't shit. <laughs> Maybe I'm just really competitive. <laughs> like, I love video games. I just got a PS4 and I'm like super stoked about it. So my PS3 was on its way out and I do this like dumb thing when it break, I like hit it to try to fix it, which is like so stupid. Stupid. You know, like if hitting things fixed and my parents would still be happily married. <laughs> oh, really? You know them? The barn house? <laughs> well, they, they hated each other. Like my daddy nicknamed me Bambi. He said because I had brown eyes like a deer, but really he was just hoping my mom would get shot. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's funny, Dad, because mom keeps calling me Simba. <laughs> yeah, a lot of jokes at the barn <laughs> I feel like my family is a lot like the Simpsons, uh, O.J. Simpsons. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I just turned 27 in March of 2015. <laughs> so my late 20s now, my very late 20s, I'm 31, whatever. <laughs> It's so weird, like, cause all my friends are getting married and having kids, which I don't know, I'm from like the South, so I feel like that's just kind of what you do. You go to college, get married, have kids, you know? Cause they don't really understand like this job or dreams. <laughs> <laughs> so they're always like, well, what are you gonna do if you don't make it? I'm like, um, well, if I don't make it, I guess I'll just be you. <laughs> yeah, that one's for me. That one is for me. <laughs> <laughs> just for me. Because I know I'm a bitter piece of shit. I know I'm bitter as fuck. Like, because marriage, it doesn't sound like that bad of a gig. My best friend, she's like, well, my husband, he promises to always take care of me and buy me anything or whatever. It's like, oh, shit. <laughs> Sounds like he cheats. <laughs> Too little real for this crowd. <laughs> I do, but I don't know. I just I don't know how to interact with them. Like I just treat them like tiny adults. Like my niece, she's five, and the other day she came up to me and she said, "I don't want to grow up and die." And I was like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> I'm just like ah, like no, 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 baby. Like you can die at any age. <laughs> Attractive, you know, it's it's nice to be in Portland for a change. <laughs> People just looking like they slept on a pile of leaves. <laughs> Not even because they had to, because they wanted to. Like y'all you know, going pretty ham on the natural deodorant here, I gotta say. Fuck LA, that, fuck that play. Everyone there's just like fake garbage. They're just like box of fucking rocks. Like, ugh. But they are attractive, yeah. <laughs> and like, I get I'm not atrocious looking with these eyebrows. I'm like Taliban Barbie. <laughs> I 
everyone, everyone there is so fit, too. You know, like every girl looks like she knows how many calories a hand job would burn. <laughs> it's like 50. Uh, it's like six and a half almonds. And that's raw, not even roasted and salted. So it's not worth the output, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm comfortable with how I look. And, you know, I like the feeling of when I walk into a room and people get excited because they think I'm Kurt Cobain. <laughs> <laughs> like with the whole head. <laughs> oh, really? Too soon? 23 years too soon on a Kurt Cobain joke? A Portland Saturday show? <laughs> you guys want. You do want the G-rated comic. You do want Cosby. I knew it. <laughs> well, I wish you got. <laughs> Obviously impossible, but how crazy, I mean, fucking how crazy would it be if you just showed up? Just did a pop in, you know? The host comes back out like, oh, we have a special guest for you tonight. <laughs> Please put your hands together over your drinks. <laughs> definitely call the cops, you know? <laughs> we gotta stop doing that. Yeah, we're, uh, we're really not doing great right now, white women. I feel like we're the worst, you know? <laughs> like we're literally the white men of women. Cancer. <laughs> I want to make cancer funny. I do, but I, it's the hardest thing to make funny, and I get it. You know, my uh, my mom actually beat cancer. Oh, thank you. Yeah, she uh, she shot herself in the head. Very competitive woman. I think that's where I get it. <laughs> I guess. Nah, actually, I don't really give a shit about sports. That's, I like athletes. I don't really care about sports, I guess. I do. I don't know. In sports, I feel like there's so much drama in them now, too. You know, like, still people losing the shit over the anthem. Like, the anthem? The anthem sucks, you know? No one's ever been like, yo, you hear that Star Spangled Banner shit? Like, that shit fire! Like, no! People boycotting the NFL while it's just like rapists and abusers and wife beaters anyways. Like, who was, who was that, uh, that main guy, Ray Rice? He, um, he knocked out his wife in that elevator. I mean, we all saw the video, right? Even though there were still some garbage human beings who were like, well, there wasn't any audio. <laughs> She said she wanted to go down. <laughs> and then the NFL suspended him for two weeks, making him stay at home and spend more time with his wife. <laughs> Her worst nightmare. But you know, I guess, I mean, it's, it's every sport too, even like boxing, like Floyd Mayweather. But he's an interesting one because his job is to hit people. You know, unfortunately, he's just like really bad at separating work and home. <laughs> I feel like he's one of those ones we like hate him now, but eventually we'll just put him in the hangover four and love him again. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a very specific Tyson reference. <laughs> because you know, everyone always forgets Tyson was a rapist. And it's like, of course that guy's a rapist. Like Tyson's not the dating type. Like Tyson's not the type of guy to talk your ear off. No. <laughs> Back in the room going in for a Tyson or joke. <laughs> Uh, and who is there now, too? Um, Oscar Pistorius. He's the uh, South African Blade Runner. The uh, Footloose OJ. <laughs> yeah, he killed his girlfriend, or I guess ex-girlfriend. I'm pretty sure once you murder someone, you're probably broken up. <laughs> you know, unless that's how you break up with someone in South Africa, you just shoot them through a bathroom door. But, like, supposedly she was cheating. 
Which I guess kind of makes sense, you know, he probably just like came home, <laughs> found some guy's shoes. <laughs> Cheating. And I know this because it's so easy to know if your boyfriend is cheating. Yeah, I'll tell you how. <laughs> you grab his phone, you run to the bathroom, and if he tries to shoot that door down, 